Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a super exciting item that I've been able to cross off my wish list this year, and that is the Louis Vuitton Agenda GM in the Damier Aben. If you're not new to my channel, then you know I have the desk agenda and monogram. It's actually right here. But we're gonna do like a little comparison between the two, talk about why I prefer one over the other. I feel like the best part about agendas like this is you can really sprinkle luxury into all different aspects of your life, not just accessories, handbags, clothing, or shoes. This is just like, something that you can add that's a little bit different, a little bit spicy into your daily work life, especially if you're like me and have a nine to five. Let's do a little comparison side by side. So I just have like a book in here to give it a little bit of shape and give you an idea of what it looks like when you do have some notebooks, mainly because this one I've just been giving a little bit of a break. It's been here on my shelf. You've probably seen it in the background of numerous videos that I filmed. Side by side, we're gonna talk about how the GM because you have rings which are not removable the width of the base of this is going to be exactly what it is whereas with this one you could stuff it and have it thick like this or you could just have it like this or when you have it completely empty it lays almost flat so that's going to be the biggest difference as far as sizing they're literally like identical as far as height this one might be a hair taller with the gm agenda it is going to be a little bit wider mainly because you have this extra flap here this just keeps it intact um, so nothing's falling out whereas with this one if you had something in here it could very easily come out let's talk about functionality so when you see these agendas typically actually i think every single youtube video i've ever watched on the gm agenda has specifically been about using it as a planner as an agenda which makes sense, right? Because that's the whole purpose of this piece. However, for me, I am a note taker. At my current job, I am constantly writing things down, little things that need to get done throughout the day. I am a to-do list girl through and through. And for that reason, I like to have something that I can take notes on. It has to be something that I can run around the office with. We don't have a very big office, but it's big enough that I'm not just sitting at my desk all day. Also, sometimes I go to client meetings or we have clients come to our office and I like to have something to write with during those meetings that I know is like a reliable place that I can always go to and refer back to information. That's what I wanted this for. It's why I purchased the desk agenda to begin with because you're so much versatility options with this one. Because you don't have those rings, you're not bound to a specific type of notebook, right? So you can put literally any notebook, agenda, whatever you want into here, and it's free reign, by the way. This is like how flat it gets, it's crazy. As you can see, it's very floppy, and so if I'm like running around, it's not as ideal. This I think is best used if you are not transporting it. Another great thing about the agenda versus the desk agenda is that you do have a little pen loop. We're going to go into more detail about this in a second and I'll show you that, but just very quickly you have two, four, six uh, card slots here in the back plus like a little slot here. This is where you can slide in the back of say a notebook or an agenda. You also have a front slide so that's how you could have two separate notebooks if you wanted to. A small pocket here in the front and then again another like short pocket here i actually have some business cards in here from the last time i used this i'm just gonna go ahead and throw a book back in here just to help keep its shape the reason that i am giving this one a break is because there is a very 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 small crack that has started on the corner of this piece i don't think i could even show it to you it is so tiny but it's there. Let me just try to show you. Okay, I think you can actually see it. It is right in front of my nail. It is so tiny, but I did notice it. I know that pretty much everybody usually gets this in monogram, but because I had the desk agenda in monogram, I was like, no, I wanna get it in DE. I love this print. It was the first print I ever purchased. Here is what it looks like in the front. You do have this little snap open and closure. The snap does say Louis Vuitton on both portions of it. When you open it up, I have taken out my notes for work just because I didn't want to be throwing information around. 
you have a little pocket here in the front which i've opted to put some sticky notes by the way please ignore my nails okay i am a nail girly and my nails normally don't look this ugly you have one pocket here one pocket here and then um you could like slip a notebook in here if you wanted to and then again you have the binding part of this one so the paper that fits this is just a5 right now i have some notebook paper and just a couple of little dividers and then in the back i have a louis vuitton notebook these are so hard to get your hands on when i saw them become available on the website like a few months ago i immediately snatched one up for me and my best friend because i was like i will never see this opportunity again anytime soon and i'm so glad i did to be honest with you i was a little bit thrown off by the quality of the outside it wasn't what i was expecting i thought it was going to be more like a hard book and it's not it's just like a piece of cardstock basically which is totally fine but i love the orange with the brown de i think it's so classy looking so i just slid it in here to show you how stinking cute is that i love it so much i do have like a little dashboard coming to put in the front here but it's not here yet so and then i have my favorite pen this is a sharpie s gel pen so great i have them in blue black and red ink use them all the time so that's kind of how i have this set up again it's not set up like your traditional agenda there was a point where i used this as a traditional agenda but the truth is i am very much a uh put it on the electronic calendar type of person i do love to write things down do not get me wrong but when it comes to the functionality and how much i'm going to use a piece I definitely am going to use it more as a notebook. I did used to own the PM agenda. I tried to do it not as a planner, again, just as like something in my purse I could take notes with. I also tried to use it as a wallet. I got like those little zip inserts. It just didn't work out for me. I did end up selling it to Fashion File. I really, really am so pleased with this. I'm excited that I waited to get the DE print rather than monogram. There is quite a price difference between the two. I believe this one retails for 920 US dollars, maybe 960. I think it's 920 US dollars. And this one, last I checked, retailed for 620 US dollars. So a $300 difference is quite significant. Uh, definitely take that into consideration. I have actually seen them become available on the website, which you just have to check it regularly is my best advice. And also check it at weird times. Sometimes when I first wake up in the morning, that'll be the first thing I do is just check the website because it's just an odd time for people to be looking at it. And I feel like you can really snatch some things up that way. There's definitely options out there. You don't have to live near a boutique. Also, this one I purchased from eBay, so you can definitely get both pieces pre-loved. I waited a really, really long time to get a good deal on it, but I'm so glad I did. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you like this video, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And let me know if you want me to do any comparisons or what do you want to know about the uh, Agenda GM. Until next time, bye.